after it. I'm gonna foot. Node management. The, the, the water of Verti is a node manager? It's not exactly sentient, but okay. Who's this? I don't know who that's supposed to be. You hear the clear sound of waters ringing. Waters? Waters ring in your ears. It's the water of Verti where the saloons and the Ahibs forged their alliance. Empty your mind. The azure flame burns softly as whispers of the dark musical spirit can be heard. Is Verti the dark musical spirit? I don't know. The bright sound of the babbling brook complements the scent of wildflowers, a rare scene in Odalita. This is the place where the Ahibs and the Saloons forged their Talabar alliance in Nasion's Moon Treaty, which was signed so all Vidya should maintain peace in the nest of Nark, the ancient spirit. So I turned it to Google. Who is Verti? Halon. Is this your place? Or just your hospital hospitable to the people you invite you? Hey, Ar Araxes up. Did you pay your respects to the water of Verti? I see. It's so hard not to like Bianca. I heard he used to be a member of the Galha's Bandits. He dresses like one, so I'm not surprised. I wonder if they only recruit clever guys like him. A Bianca? Oh, it's a L! Is it meant to be Blanca? What's this dude's name? Oh, it's an L! To be fair, I was trying to read it while I was moving. His name is Blanca. Good God. Okay, now that I've finally got this dude's correct name correct. Uh, okay. He apparently met some Shadow Knights at a black market and followed them all the way to Odalita. Was, was he intrigued by the Shadow Knights? Why? That's dedication. Ever since Sophia occupied Thormwood Castle as her strong... So Sophia is a person. Okay, so whoever this person is who takes the demented Ahib on her side, they're at Thormwood Castle. Okay. And achieved full independence from the Queen's capital. The Shadow Knights have cut all ties with the Queen and sided with Sophia. Whoa, what? Why? I mean, I don't know this queen to know what her deal is. But this Sophia lot seem really dangerous. They're utilizing this power of darkness and it can very well corrupt them and make them a fallen one. It doesn't seem like a good idea. So why are the Shadow Knights all about that? I get that they're not good people, but still. Blanca had to break away from his group in the process, as Sophia does not accept any humans in her territory. She's racist as well. Perfect. Knew, knew there was a reason I didn't like Sophia. That just solidifies it. Well then, take this fluid collector. You're about to do some manual labor today. Lady, I really don't want to. I can't attack anything in that field. They were all no-go animals, by the way. Delicia pudding. Ataraxia, you're such a weird dark knight. Did you have a good nap? I guess you're hungry now, aren't you? What? Well, you're right about me being hungry. I smell something delicious. What is it? Now, now, you need to work to get a nibble. Remember, no work, no food. Hey, we bailed you out, remember? Is this how you repay us? You called us all the way out here to make us work? Nonsense! It wasn't you who helped me. It was V. Anyway, I just can't stand owing anyone anything. That's who I am. What? I guess, I guess stopping where I stopped last time I played and starting now probably wasn't a great spot to finish because I've sort of got my first interaction with Halon and now my second series of interactions with her and they feel very disjointed and I don't know if it's just because I stopped between them or it's just the way it's written and that she's really horrible to start off with but now you're suddenly on the same side as her or perhaps you were meant to be on the same side or viewpoint as her in the first interaction, but it was just so poorly written, it just didn't happen. Because I really didn't like her in that initial interaction. She was horrible. Yet all of a sudden we're BFFs and traveling together and, and sharing history stories. It, it doesn't mesh. It seems weird. 
Have you guys ever heard of the pudding? I hope, but you haven't. Just a spoonful of it packs a mellow aroma of honey. I don't like honey. Sometimes you can feel a bitter aftertaste too. I don't like anything bitter either. I guess that's like savouring the flavour of your lives. So it's all good. Wow, pessimistic much. Adraxia, you go to Blanca and get seven-year-old honey wine. V, you go get some warm, fresh wolf blood. Great, can't wait. How many do you need? 21! These better be bloody invincible wolves. Where are they? 21! Holy shit, we could have just buy the shit. Okay, they do put a bit of a fight. That's at least something. Oh my god! These things are actually going to kill me. Can I just buy... Oh, they have to be shadow wolves. Oh, well, I have to manually do the extractions. Sorry, I'm just doing all my healing attacks because holy fuck, there's a big chug. And I'm about to go down. Down I go. Holy shit, these things are fucking hard to kill. Wait, hold up. Hold up. Fuck oh. off. How many last tears do I have? Holy shit. This is so not fair. Are they just going to continually kill me? Good god. How many of these things do I have? Ugh. I only got four blessings. Good god. Loyalties. Dun, 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 dun. Tears. Plez. Sounds like I'm gonna die a lot in this land, so we should probably stack up a bit. Thanks. Gonna need those. Okay. Now, can we not die to fucking wolves? I know I'm under level, but this is ridiculous. Can I just kill one? And why have you got to travel in packs? Come on over. I want just one of you at a time, please. Oh, I didn't get all my health back from the initial attack. Oh dear. Seriously, again? I can't even kill one wolf! Did that thing just go back to full health because it went back to its... Just breathe. Just breathe. And I have to gather it myself. This is ridiculous. Huh? The fuck you lot attacking me for? What the hell did I ever do to you? Grass rhinos. Guys, I did nothing. Can you please just leave me alone? I'm trying to kill some stupid wolves. I cannot afford to have you getting in a goddamn way. Sheesh! Buzz off. One. I can't even kill one by itself. So there's no way in hell I want more than one. Try and some bigger spells. Oh, is it because it's night time? They've got stronger health at night? I didn't think about that until that particular moment. I swear to god, if something else attacks me, I'm gonna cry. Legit cry. Struggling just to kill a wolf. This does not bode well for my time and old leader. Oh 
would you like me to get? Sheesh. I think I need to also check out what my um uh adds to my attacks are. To see if there's something I should be doing to get more HP because usually I'm pretty good for HP but right now I am getting messed up so i guess when we get to uh, um adraxia i should see if there's a, a trainer there and check out what my abilities are that's not what i wanted i just wanted to go it's because i pressed shift oh i'm sorry it was an accident no, i've got to kill you because otherwise you're going to keep attacking me i'm sorry i pressed a wrong button all right don't take it on a meat grass rhino Sheesh. Yeah. I'm sorry. Is that always there? Probably. Alright. Now we have a problem. How to get one by itself? I cannot survive if two attack me. That's two. That's two. Oh no. Okay, the other one didn't aggro. Even though I had a thing over its head, it didn't aggro. Just this one did. Okay, cool. cool. Bitch! Well, that's unacceptable. Deficit of health. Get out, get out. Woo. Do not get any closer to those creatures. Fuck. Who the hell pissed in your Cheerios? Jesus Christ. Do you guys just aggro for the sake of aggroing? I'm starting to think you do. Sheesh. Okay, you guys have respawned? Good. Come on, pull. Thank you. God, that initial attack was brutal. <gasps> Two. Good God. Are they still chasing me? Holy hell, I didn't even notice I'd pulled two. And I was so close to killing one of them too. Oh, I've got the potions, I may as well use them to make this recovery process a little quicker. Where did the second one even come from? You! You're pulling, that's why. I did kill one. Don't mind if I do then. Damn it! Seventeen. Well then, come here, you. If you want to be a dick about it, get your ass over here. Go! Oh, stop posturing because you use Black Spirit Rage and just attack. Yeah. 
that's what I hate about using the Black Spirit Rage abilities. They go in slow mode. It's like, I don't have time for you to strike poses. Just get on with it. Yeah, you look cool, but I also need you to be cool. Okay. Now let's see if we can grab. Oh, for God's sake. I must just keep respawning. Too much health. Yeah, you don't get to just spawn like that. Holy shit. Completely freaked me out. Taking so long that they've double respawn. That's just sad. Wow. I cannot believe that I've spent all this time just killing wolves. Oh, it's just sad. Absolutely sad. Here you go. Warm blood makes putting it. We're eating that? I don't think I put two and two together until that moment. We're eating blood? No, thank you. Narsion is known as the Hunter's Paradise. Remember that packs of rhinos, deer, and wolves can be found in Narsion during uh, in certain seasons. Now that I offered you this delicious pudding, you were even. Okay, I've returned the favor I owed you. Has Cassina returned yet? She must be hungry by now. Hello. Has it ever occurred to you that you can release your slave? You can just remove the shackle for her, no? No way. Cassina is a weak human. Um, so am I. If you're weak, you can't look after yourself even if you're in trouble. Also, racist. I started this wanderer's life because I disagree with the Queen's ideology, but I still agree that humans must be placed under our control. Racist! Strange wanderer. Humans are too quick to trust others, too easily broken, and too dependent on others. That's because their curiosity always gets the best of them. That curiosity was the very reason that brought the shadow from the world beyond Kamasov into this world. In truth, we were never interested in Kamasov's light at the beginning. The Ganels need it for their own survival. That's not our concern. But one night, when all of Grana was on fire and teeming with dark spirits, Chief Jossi Rador realized the true identity of the shadow. By burning her own self, she set fire on Kamasulv and succeeded in closing the portal. That's how she defeated the darkness. But as fate would have it, the darkness returned again, from an unknown route beyond the desert this time. That is why Queen Villarencia came to the conclusion that human beings, the risk factor, must be kept under tight control. No, that, that literally makes no sense. What's more, Sophia, a radical, went much further by claiming that humans must be either eradicated or used as a shield in the imminent war against the Hadoom. What do I think? Well, perhaps I spent too much time with Cassina. Developing an affection for someone can turn you into someone else, I guess. Speaking of which, who was that female human you were trying so hard to rescue? And how does that god have two names? Ataraxia shrugs. Doslia, I met her at the Calfion slums. She was praying to Ilion, god of light. She wanted to participate in the Golden Road of Light pilgrimage, but couldn't because she didn't have enough money. So I helped her. I was wondering about here and there... The fuck was that? And there to regain my memory. So all I had was silver, which I have no use for. When I went to Brelin Farm northwest of Calfion, I heard people talking about something. The fraternity of something? Strangely no capital. And they seemed suspicious. So I wanted to find out where the Golden Road of Light pilgrimage ends. Huh? That's it? Why did you even try so hard? Saving that one person won't change this place. Yeah, you're right. I just wanted to help change the destiny of others, not mine. But one is enough to make a change. You're all going to suffer because there won't be enough slaves. Because Dossier will grab the hands of those who are walking this way and prevent them from going in the wrong direction, not push them on. 
You think you're such a saint, don't you? Was it not doubt for mother that motivated you to search for other goals? Listen to a long story. Well, I didn't think that I would say this, but what can I do? The seed of doubt has already been planted. When the capital was covered with the fallen ones, I thought, is the glory of mother with us still? That was the day when Sophia rebelled against the queen. Corrupt Turisil seeds burst in the capital center. The Ahabs in the capital were following the queen's law, absorbing only the exact amount of light from the Turisil, calculated to the decimal. But the explosion blew what little self-control that was left. Soon the capital was swarming with the fallen ones. They contaminated mother's energy. From what we know, there's no other being stronger than mother. But those who share the secret of the ancient darkness are only a direct subordinate organization of the queen. Verti and Audra, and the Thormod Watchers. Why was it limited to them? Verti, Audra, Thormod Watchers. Okay. Doesn't really tell. Are, are these specific people? Like, is the Verti an actual person? Is Audra an actual person, or is that just the name given to the orders? That's probably where my doubt grew. I had no access to the crypt of resting thoughts, so I wasn't sure who exactly the master of ancient darkness was. What I did discover was that this master or god was called the god of radiant light, and also, full stop, lack of capital letter, and also of some relation to the Shadow Knights. But as the Shadow Knights are in league with Saphir, I had to stop my investigation so that Casino could live. Apparently, the Shadow Knights succeeded in making the Forbidden Arena using a document Saphir stole from the Crypt of Resting Thoughts. When you two mentioned Saigood's horn, I realized what naive and foolish wanderers you two were. Ah. Having the horn on you means that you sided with those who rebelled against the queen, and thus you cannot go beyond this place, Narcion. The port is where slaves are brought in and classified. It is where we Ahibs cooperate under the Orderite Doctrine, a religion. Narcion is the paradise of Nark, the ancient spirit. It is where the minimum level of trade is allowed according to the Moon Treaty of Narcion. Other areas except for those two regions are explicitly divided under different factions and all the land you see beyond Narcion is the Queen's territory. But you defeated Saigord and obtained his horn. I suppose Sophia's vassal, Opensilla, was behind all this? She is actually the culprit who detonated the fallen seed of Turisil in the capital city when Sophia rebelled against the Queen. I'm so confused. But why? Why did Sophia and Opensilla attack the queen and those in the capital with this, this fallen seed of Turisil. Why? Do you not all want the same end to to protect and destroy, protect from and destroy the encroaching darkness? Or did the Sophia want the darkness? But the Sophia were the ones who were telling me about it originally. Ah, oh, this is so conflicting. Friend of gamblers. What? So this is as far as we can go? This is our limit? Oh man, perhaps we picked the wrong side. No, we still succeeded halfway. <laughs> I guess we have no reason to stay here as we can't go any further. We should hurry and search for the traces Capris now. Get Ataraxia, snap her out of it. Her eloquent speech may have persuaded Kama Sylvia's queen to give her the map, but what did we achieve with it so far? Rescuing one human slave? <laughs> Besides, we contributed much to that too. Now it's time for us to make our demand. We have to find out if what the Ahibs have been saying is true. About the world shadow. Hadoom, the god of despair. What if this god really exists and is already approaching this world? Yeah. If we fail to actualize its realm, we will all perish without even having resisted properly. We don't want that, right? If we fail to actualize its realm, we will all perish. Wouldn't actualizing its realm be the bad thing not failing to actualize its realm okay what do you actually want of me persuade Adoraxia. Kafris, going out of Odalita? no I won't well I know I was the one who first suggested you to join me but I changed my mind I can't I can't leave this land yet so do as you like for all I care oh I thought you guys were friends why are you all so sensitive all of a sudden I think you should leave this place too, as your friend said. You should know that you're lucky to have such a friendly Ahib like me. Your very existence here will be just a nuisance to other Ahibs. I just can't get over this little scene back here. It's just so adorable. They'll give you trouble over the smallest things. No, I mean, I was going to say I'm sleepy again. Let me just think it over. No, I mean, I'll get some more sleep. 
hell's wrong with her? Seems like most people see eye to eye on most things. Since almost everyone we've met so far sees her as self-indulgent and stubborn. She really does whatever she wants, huh? Look at the way she talks to us. So ungrateful. <laughs> but we have to admit, we had other intentions. Perhaps it makes us even? Besides, we have the map in our possession. Just because Adaraxia isn't coming with us doesn't mean we can't go. Let's see. Hmm. Look, there's a mark on it. But it's so faint, it's almost erased. This writing here is Berlina's, that's for sure, but... Am I reading it correctly? Listen to that. Are you just opening the map right in front of Adaraxia? Whoa, Black Spirit. You got some balls. Step 4. Greed fades. The armor Delosia of Delmira was a success. The fallen ones, whose greed has subsided, were quarantined in Thornwood Forest, forming a barrier at the entrance by using the Azure Flame of Orzica. Huh. Have we still on the wrong map? Is this really what Berlina wrote? Hmm. Should we first go to where the map indicates? I don't understand anything what she wrote there. Annoyed by Adaraxia's irresponsible attitude, the Black Spirit told you to go where Berlina's map indicates. Yet yeah, that part I get. What she wrote, don't get. So we're going deeper into this land. That there. Ooh, there's a crypt of resting thoughts. Yeah, that's a no from me. Alright, come Vespa. Wherever I left you. Ah, there you are. Hiding behind the cart. We're gonna go to a forest full of bad people. Apparently. Why? I know not. And I thought we weren't supposed to continue on into Odalita, yet that's exactly what we're doing. Ooh! Is that the city up there? I don't know. It's not where we're going, so- oh, hi. Hold that, let's just say hi first. Wandering musician, Artina. That away. And you, Rebecca. For some reason, Damn it. Oh, not this right. Next one. Next one. Oop, that's a fence. Are these rose bushes? I guess that explains the thorns. God, so many unkillable creatures in this area. Puts me on edge. Oh my. What happened here? Are you friendly? Thornwood entrance. It's the entrance to Thornwood Forest. The groves of Thornwood here is... The groves is... Gotta love that grammar. Bigger and denser than any other place. Orzica's azure flames are burning in the two braziers, yet they're tiny. How is that keeping them in? In a most undaunted manner in the wind. Though you cannot see anyone passing by, you can hear the snarling fallen ones in the distance. The fallen ones, whose greed had faded, were quarantined in Thornwood Forest and formed a barrier at the entrance using Azure Flame of Orzica. I think we came to the right place, but did Berlona... Berlona? Berlina really write something like this? Why are you... Doubt... I, I just... Wh why? Why are you saying did Berlina really write this? Why wouldn't she write it? Why would she write it? I'm just not sure why he's thinking that she... Wouldn't be the type to write that? It's just making no sense. What is this, by the way? Change black spirits. <gasps> I can choose! I'm kind of partial to old mate there, but... And... And OG. Black spirit, but... No, okay, we'll keep, we'll keep the Valencian version. We heard that she was held hostage in Odalita, right? But this description looks like as if it was written by an Ahib. I don't really see the distinction in in writing. It seems irrelevant who they're affiliated with. 
Do you think those full months with faded greed we saw in Saloon's border were, too, originated from this place? Remnants. After reading a note on Berlina's map, the Black Spirit thought there was a chance that the Fallen Ones in Saloon's border might be originated from here. Look for the Fallen Ones with Faded Greed in the Thornwood Forest. You need to defeat Faded Greed Fallen Ones for the quest. Shit! Please don't be very strong. 